the book of Vayikra, the book of Leviticus, filled with so many incredible lessons, but a book that for many remains sealed as we look at the themes of sacrifices, the different korbanot that were brought in the days of the temple. There are times when we need to look beyond or look deeper to unpack incredible messages. And the book of Vayikra is filled with them. In this week's Torah portion of Vayikra, God, we read about the instructions about giving different animals in different situations. There were, sin, there were offerings that were brought if a person had sinned, if a person was guilty, if a person was, uh, was feeling thanks, uh, thankful for gifts that God had bestowed upon them. The Torah then describes in great detail what animals could be brought. And not only animals, sometimes it would be a bird. Sometimes it was only flower that was required. Depending on the situation and depending on a person's financial state, the Torah said there was an offering for you. As it says in, the, in our tradition, Echad marbe vechad mamit. One brought more, one brought less. But the intention was to serve God. And thus it's fantastic and amazing to see that when we look at the different sacrifices, the Torah uses a term that does not appear in other the, in with regards to other sacrifices. When they brought, when a rich person brought an ox, it describes bringing an ox. But when a poor, poor person brought their sacrifice, a little bit of flour, the Torah uses a beautiful expression. Venefesh kitakriv, when the soul brings an offering. The Torah understood that for this poor person, bringing the flower was literally giving of themselves their soul. But what does it mean to give of your soul? I saw a beautiful story that highlights this exact point. When we are sitting in the back and we are viewing situations we all become armchair critics and we are criti we are quick to find fault in other people there's a beautiful story told about the saintly stipler gaon of yakov kanievsky who lived in bnei brak he once took a cab ride a taxi ride and he got into conversation with the taxi driver, something that we should all do, because there's great wisdom amongst taxi drivers. They see and hear so many different opinions and perspectives. So if Yaakov asked the taxi driver, No, my friend, do you study Talmud? To which the cab driver, re realizing that he was in the presence of a great personality, says, Yes, Rabbi, I do. But I have to admit to you that I'm not the greatest scholar. You see, I come home after a 12-hour shift. I have something quickly to eat. And then I go to the shul to listen to the shiur, the lecture. But unfortunately, I'm so tired that I'll fall asleep. And for most of the time of the hour lecture, I'm out cold. I might pick up five minutes of the lecture. Yaakov looks at him and smiles and says, What are you talking about? Why are you selling yourself short? The Pasuk, the verse says, Venefesh ki takriv, when you give of your soul, your soul to God. Don't worry about what other people think. Look what you're doing. It's amazing. You work so hard. You could just sit down in front of a television at the end of the day. But you choose to go and listen to a lecture in Talmud, which is complicated. You got five minutes? That's amazing. Most people don't even get that. What a powerful lesson. We always look to sell ourselves short. We always look to compare ourselves to someone who's better than us, knows more than us, has more, has more time on their hands. The Nefesh Kitakrif says the Torah. 
If all that you can give is a bit of flour, but you do it with sincerity, that in the eyes of God is something to celebrate. Echad marbe. There are those who are able to dedicate hours and hours to the study of Torah, to give to charity, to volunteer. Bechad mamit. And there are those who can only afford a few moments. In the eyes of Hashem, those are just as precious. Never sell yourself short. And never sit in the back and criticize the man who's sleeping in the shear. They have done a lot to get there. And if you're awake, you better be listening and taking on board all the lessons that the rabbi is saying. Shabbat Shalom. Hi, this is Rabbi Lewin. If you've enjoyed the content of the sermons and the ideas that have been expressed in the YouTube video, please hit that first subscription button and notification bell and share the videos with friends. We'd love to grow the channel and love to engage with you. Please share your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. Have an amazing day.